Let's dive in and take a look at this proofing tool from Macabacus. We're going to scoot up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon here in PowerPoint, over here where it says Proof, and we're going to click here where it says Show Hide Pane. Now we can see over here on the right that the proofing pane has come up. As we mentioned in the previous video, a lot of the checks that Macabacus is performing within this tool are doing comparisons between this PowerPoint file and what has been set in the presentation template file. So in order for this tool to really work to its full potential, we need to make sure that the presentation template file has been properly configured for your organization. Now, as we can see over on the left-hand side, this particular presentation only has two slides, but it's in pretty rough shape, which is great for this tool and for this demonstration because we're going to be able to find a lot of things that are not quite right with this presentation. One of the things to keep in mind over here in the proofing pane is that Macabacus is picking up issues in the presentation related to three things. Number one, formatting. Number two, layouts. And number three, content. Let's dive in and take a look to see what it has found. First thing we can learn by looking over here at the top of the proofing tool, if we hover over this red check mark, this is indicating critical errors, the yellow one, major warnings, and finally the blue one, minor warnings. As we can see here, there's a little count. So we have six critical, 15 major, and one minor to look at. Let's start off by looking at one of these major inconsistencies. Let's go down here and click on where it says bullet punctuation inconsistent. What we can see over here is that Macabacus highlights the section in question. And in this case, the inconsistency is the period at the end. We can see in the third bullet, there's a period at the end, but the other bullets don't have a period at the end. What Macabacus is going to do is it's going to sense which is the dominant formatting feature. So if we click this little down arrow right here, the dominant feature is that there's no trailing period. So we can click right here, just like that, and Macabacus has now removed the trailing periods. Let's close out of this particular dialog box. What you may have noticed is this icon right here has changed from orange over to green. Now, if we click away from it, it disappears, indicating that we've taken care of that particular issue. In this count up here went from 15 down to 14. What we can see here is Macabacus has highlighted another issue. We have an opening parenthesis, but no closing parenthesis. So let's click into the text box and add a closing parenthesis just like this. We're going to click away. Now we can go over to the proofing tool and click refresh. We're going to select presentation and we can see now that issue disappears and our critical issues go from six down to five. This is great. This proofing tool has already picked up a lot of issues with our presentation and we're just starting to scratch the surface. Let's hop over into the next video and go through more of the issues that are coming up in this proofing tool. We'll see you there. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.